Hello, welcome to episode 3 of how to program a space battle game in Unity. Uh, we're going to be making the throttle juicier. Uh, we're going to be implementing the throttle as my game design demands, but obviously your game design may have different needs, uh, and you're welcome to just adjust this however you would like. The first thing I just wanted to mention is that I changed the smoke so that it starts at a random rotation, and, uh, and that gives us a little bit more realistic smoke. I noticed that it felt a little bit... Um, Static in the last uh, in the last one, so this makes it a little bit less static. Uh, the light is back to flashing um, because the smoke can now be rotated, so it's a little bit taller. That's fine. All right, so how are we going to make the throttle juicy? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make it so that the rotation speed of the ship uh, close that the rotation speed of the ship depends on the throttle invertly. Uh, inverted. We're also going to make it so that the throttle can't be put above 1 or below 0. So if value is greater than 1, value equals 1. If value is less than 0, value equals 0. And the reason for that is just so that we never have to actually worry about, worry about inverted uh, rotation. So here you can see that that just works fine with the add force commands. Uh, but we're actually going to go ahead and uh, and really, really make it depend on the throttle. So by multiplying the throttle times the throttle, that means that uh, as you get close to 1, that speed will ramp up a lot, uh, whereas even slightly below that, it will stay pretty low. And then over here, uh, we're going to need to change this uh, rotation speed the same way that we change the throttle. Actually, we need to leave this public for the purposes of actually doing design work. Yeah, that's what I wanted to write. I cannot type today. So here we've just said that uh, we're going to be making it so that you can't turn if your throttle is very high. So um, if our throttle is 1, then 1 minus 1 would be 0, we wouldn't be able to turn at all. Yeah, so we're actually going to make this 1.1 just so we can turn a little bit while at full speed. Alright, so once we've done that, then when we hit play, you can see that we can still turn very fast now, but as we accelerate, well, we can barely turn it all at one throttle. And that's exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and uh, change the speed of this ship by changing it in here. Uh, max thrust is 5. Yep, so there you go, nice and fast if you don't need to turn. And if you do need to turn, go slow. Oh, that already feels pretty marvelous. Unfortunately, it feels a little too marvelous. Oh wow, that is really easy. Um, that's actually enough fun that I may change my game design. My game design called for um, having a long delay between when you turn on the throttle and when you turn off the throttle so that you couldn't really ramp up this fast. You had to... Um, there would really be a long delay. Uh, but this is really nice. I may... Do I want to... Yeah, I am still going to do the throttle delay. So how do you do a throttle delay? Well, we're going to actually just go ahead and add in another throttle variable. So uh, we're going to add in protected float target throttle equals zero. And this will actually mean that we don't have to do this clumsy thing here. And on fixed update, we're going to go ahead and say that throttle equals <clears throat> come on throttle equals target throttle uh, plus oh we need to have a current throttle so uh, we were, we're going to go ahead and just I don't know why it took me a second to, to parse this we're going to move throttle a little bit towards uh, what we need it to be so float.lerp do we have a float.lerp there's no float.lerp. Oh. 
Oh, I really love the loop functions. All right, we'll do it manually. Uh, equals throttle times one minus time dot delta time uh, plus uh, uh, target throttle times time dot delta time. Um, now this isn't foolproof, but it's in fixed update, so it should work. Uh, if it was in our update, then the frame rate would radically affect it, and it would get all screwed up. The other thing we have to change is we have to change this to target throttle. Um, and we, oh wait, there's no, there's no underscore here, so I have to delete that. And we also have to change this here, and this here, and this here, and this here. There we are. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Interesting. All right, so here we are. That was a little bit of a flub at first. Oh, that is really slow. We need to make that much, much faster. Uh, uh, lerp val equals time dot delta time times ten. Now this has the downside of if uh, if our frame takes more than a tenth of a second to render, we're in trouble. Um, or rather, if, it, if our physics take more than a tenth of a second to render, we're in trouble. But for now, we're not going to worry about that too much. All right, so the reason we have that error at the beginning is because we actually start at negative one rather than zero. Uh, and you can't set it to a negative. Ooh, wow. That's interesting. That feels really interesting. Uh, you can't set it to a negative value of emission rates or anything like that. So uh, when we go in here, we're going to go ahead and say... Um, uh, no, that's correct. Well, anyhow, uh, what we're going to do here is go over... In, I'm kind of mumbling because I'm thinking it through in my head as I do it here. Where we change the throttle here, you see? Let's go ahead and change that. So if vert is greater than 0.5f ship.throttle equals 1, else if vert is less than 0.5f, negative 0.5f, ship.throttle equals 0. And we can be okay with that. We don't have to worry about uh, it screwing it up with that because the throttle will scale towards that. So here we can see the throttle uh, at 1, and then we cut it off, and it instantly cut off, and it instantly came back. Why is that? Why? You upset me. I don't want to have to do a retake of this. I'm all confused. Hold on. Oh, because I'm an idiot. Um, I'm tempted to restart this, but I don't think I will. So sorry that this is a little bit clunky. So what we need to do is we need to change it so that when we change throttle uh, here, we don't need these to be in here anymore. We need it to be here. And we can actually make this if math.abs, uh, mathf.abs, throttle minus target throttle. Uh, is greater than 0.01f. There we go. And that means that we'll only do this stuff if we're actually changing the throttle as we speak. So in case you missed what the problem was, I was setting it to the target throttle rather than the actual throttle. And we had a choice between adding in another layer of abstraction here, so that whenever we change the underscore throttle, it would do that. Or we could just put it here where we're actually changing the underscore throttle. Since this is the only place where we're changing this underscore throttle value, it should be fine. Um, Let's go ahead and see how that works. All right, so that lerp value is a little bit high, but it's actually quite nice still, even with the delay built in. Let's go ahead and change this to three. Oh, that's much better. That is just about perfect for my design. That's interesting, though. It can take a second to take. 
Uh, I'm having I'm having some thoughts about whether or not this is good game design, or whether or not there's any kind of delays that I have to worry about. Um, so for now, I think that's enough. Uh, that's all I really wanted to do is play with the throttle. Um, and you're welcome to uh, skip this episode or do as you please uh, with your own throttle. Um, but since my throttle only has two states and they're really, really obvious, I'm not going to use a throttle HUD. Uh, I'll teach you how to do a HUD later when I start to build the ship indicator HUDs. Um, but next episode I'll probably do something that has nothing to do with ship indicators and it is instead, I don't know, maybe, maybe ship indicators would actually be a good thing to do. I'll have to think about it a little bit. Sorry for the rather rambly episode. I had to, too much game design and not enough technical um, thought 